Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading from my dearest Geminis. Now Gemini, we're going to take a look at your next romantic partner or better stated, the person who's coming towards you. Um, we're going to get as much advice as we can about who this person is and how it will make you feel and possible outcome. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Geminis. And I just wanted to wish you all a happy birthday. Ooh, <laughs> the cards are ready. Happy birthday to my dear Geminis out there. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Geminis regarding the person headed their way. Okay, so Gemini, your energy, Ace of Cups. So you've definitely been disappointed in love. The person coming towards you is the Knight of Cups. So maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How it's going to make you feel, the Star card. So this is going to be a very healing connection. And your final outcome, Advice Energy, is the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so some of my Geminis, what I'm getting right off the bat with the King of Swords in reverse is this might be exactly what you need to completely leave the past in the past or cut off somebody who's not honoring your worth and your value. As I said, my intention here is that this is somebody brand new. So I feel like the King of Swords is you cutting cords with the past. So we have the Page of Swords. Some of you, this is an online connection. Um, for others of you, this is a connection where somebody just has secret feelings for you. Kind of like they're watching you, they're checking you out, or maybe you've already got your eye on this person. But let's dig a little bit deeper. So we have the Ace of Cups here in reverse, telling me my gems out there. A lot of you are feeling heartbroken. You might have that heart chakra closed off or imbalanced, which is just feeling a sense of lack or loss with regards to love. Um, and I think this connection is going to change all of that. So the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Three of Wands. But you're ready. Look at this. Look at her. She's having totally a spa day. She's, you know, she's good on her own. Um, you know, I feel you've been doing a lot of healing. You've been doing a lot of spending time on your own healing from whatever this disappointment or heartache is. And we get the Three of Cups in reverse. Some of my gems, you have been betrayed. Um, we have number 33, so I see that you've learned some tough lessons there in the past. But the Three of Cups in reverse, I think there was most likely a third-party situation involved with somebody that you really thought was your person or was going to go the distance, all right? But I feel with the Three of Cups in reverse, you haven't been going out much. You've been spending more time on your own. You've been focusing on healing and just sort of building yourself up. Well, that's a good thing here, Geminis, because with the Knight of Cups, you've got somebody coming towards you, making you a love offer. And we have the Three of Swords. Now, I'm not going to write off that this could be a past person, okay? And I know that's not the intention for this reading, but with the Three of Swords in reverse, it could be somebody who wants to heal things with you. Um, but for the for most of you, the Three of Swords is this is somebody who is very balanced and very healed. They might be holding back because they're having a hard time reading you, Gemini, especially if you've been hurt. Or maybe they know what you've been through. And what I'm seeing here with the Three of Swords in reverse, like this person's waiting for the right time to approach you. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. My goodness, we have three, we have all four threes come out. Very powerful number sequence for my gems. If you're looking at the clock at 333 or you're seeing that number sequence on license plates. So I think your person knows that you've been heartbroken or disappointed by a third party situation or they know a little bit about your past. Um, it's possible some of you might work with this person, so they might be going back and forth about whether or not, you know, is this a good idea, you know, to start something with Gemini, but I kind of feel like they're going to come in and make that offer anyways. The Eight of Wands tells me this person's going to send you a message. Things could take off pretty quickly between you and this person. Um, but I do feel this person's juggling, holding back, going back and forth about whether or not to ask you out, trying to decide if you're ready or not, Gems. So just make sure, you know, if you're single, that you act single. And um, if you're ready to sort of date, I feel like this person's waiting to get like the green light from you somehow, whether that's seeing pictures on social media, or I don't know if you talk to this person because I am picking up for some of you. This may be a, um, this may be like a coworker or something. 
So let's see, Eight of Wands tells me you're manifesting this. They're definitely manifesting you. Let's see what else we need to know about this person. So this is potentially somebody that you are going to be in a long-term commitment with. Life partner, you may end up marrying this person or just spending decades. It's a mutual love with a partner who shares your vision for the future. Um, we get daddy's girl. So again, it could be somebody, male or female, it doesn't matter. And remember, my readings are not gender specific. That your person is tight with their dad, okay? They've got a close relationship with their father, whether they're with us or deceased. Um, you know, and, and I think that's, I always think that's a positive quality when somebody really has, you know, we don't always have the best parents, right? Not to pass any judgment here, but when there's a strong relationship between father and son or daughter and father, you know, with a strong parental relationship always seems to be a good sign. And we see mother. So for some of you, your person has one or more children. Um, you may become a father figure or mother figure. Again, my readings aren't gender specific, um, but you may end up or blending families or maybe you're gonna end up having children with this person and business owner. So this is somebody who invests effort and creativity into personal fulfillment and wealth. Wow, okay. Um, let's see what else we need to know about your person. Oh my goodness. Clear, whoops, I had other cards mixed or behind this deck. All right, clear messages and guidance for my Geminis. What else do they need to know about this person coming their way? So we get, all right, so we get the energy of exorcist, which to me is like a very sort of Aries energy. So they might just embody that or have Aries in their chart. Um, you know, some of my gems, I do see that you've been hurt by love. And what I get with, with this exorcist energy, this is somebody who is going to free you from any sort of destructive impulses, right? Any sort of going back to exes, like this is going to be a totally different caliber of love. Um, and relationship like this is somebody who's really going to have your back somebody who's going to really stand by you and I think it's really going to help you with that king of swords energy in reverse free yourself from any unhealthy sort of exes or obsessions with past people I really do apologize about the background noise they are doing construction in the house so I apologize and femme fatale, so male or female, you're this person, wow, this person's gonna be very attractive. You're going to have such a magnetic and seductive quality, um, a, a, or there's gonna be a magnetic and seductive quality about this connection. Um, kind of like you won't be able to keep your hands off of each other. Um, this is gonna help you open your heart chakra. Opens your heart when dependency is rejected. So this is exactly what you've needed this person's going to be a good communicator, Gemini, which I know is going to be something that really turns on my Geminis out there. But this could be somebody who enjoys poetry or they write poetry. Um, just powerful energy. So how is this going to make you feel? The star card, Aquarius energy. So this is going to be very healing. A lot of my gems, you maybe stopped even focused on, focus, stopped focusing on the future. Like just kind of, you know, I feel like you've been a little bit bereft or dejected or just really down about whatever hasn't worked out in the past. And this connection is changing all of that. And we see the six of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this person's also going to really help you sort of reflect and look back at, um, look back at how like how your other connections were just imbalanced or not really a good match. Now, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you know, sometimes gems, when we, we meet somebody that is so perfect for us and feels so good and feels so right, we might have some fear-based fear, fear -based energy creep up. So just make sure that, you know, you don't let that sort of take over. And we get the Four of Wands. You're going to feel like, wow, this is your twin flame. This is your person. This is, you know, protection, happiness. Um, this is the person that you were meant to be with. This is a really positive reading. For my dear Geminis. All right, so let's take a look at like final outcome or advice here. So the King of Swords in reverse. I don't feel like that's about that you and this person. I feel like I feel like it's important to be really honest with this person. I think you can be. 
I feel like they probably already know a lot about you, Gemini. I'm kind of getting that. But I also think they're going to really help you just put that nail in the coffin to any past energies or hurts or disappointments. You're going to be focusing on the future. So we get the High Priestess, so Pisces Cancer Energy. Look at these two people coming together. Many of you, you've probably dreamed of this person before you meet them. You're going to have a very highly intuitive connection. Also, look at how the moon is kind of smiling down like, oh, you two were meant to be together. Your souls have been connecting on the remote soul planes before you meet. And we get the two of swords. So I feel like spirit is saying that obviously don't rush into things with the two of swords. You know, you decide when you're ready. You decide when... You know, when you feel healed, I don't think this is somebody who's going to rush you. Like I said, I think they're trying to figure out as much as they can about you. And we see the seven of wands in reverse. This is a strong indication here, Gemini's, to drop your defenses. You're going to have a victory here. And most likely you're going to end up marrying this person or you're going to end up in a higher level of commitment. Um, so let's get a few more cards about the final outcome here of this connection. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please, regarding this person coming towards them. Life partner coming out twice. <laughs> Geminis, congratulations. All right, and we see best friend. So this is going to be, you know, not only your lover, but your best friend, somebody who's got your back. They could be in the friend zone right now, you know, just waiting for you to heal from another connection. That's definitely a possibility. And we get love language affirmation. So loving words hold great power. So pay attention to what you say to yourself again, especially if you have any fear-based energy that comes up when you're in this connection because it is going to be quite intense. And look at that. We get marriage. I can't make this stuff up, Gemini. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending my Geminis lots of love and light. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, go ahead and check out the description box for all that information. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Okay, Geminis, love and light. Take care.